Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we can discuss about the use of spreadsheet in Odo 15 report. For that we can go to the sales module and then to the reporting menu. From here we can choose the sales option. So here we have the graph view, pivot view and the dashboard view. So we can choose the pivot view. Each and every form of sales report can be obtained using this pivot table. So here we can choose various measures like discount percentage, discount amount, gross weight, margin, quantity delivered, quantity invoiced, quantity ordered and so on. And can uh, choose the filters like quotation, sales order, order date and also can see the option to add custom filter. Likewise, we can group it according to salesperson, sales team, customer, customer country, customer industry, etc. So here we can see the options like flip axis and can see the option to expand all to expand the table and also can see the option to download it. And here we have the insert in spreadsheet option. So we can click on it and a confirmation window will appear and can confirm it. So the pivot table has been added to this sheet after confirming it and it is possible to make all the changes in it in a similar way to an excel sheet. So there are some other features available here so let's go through them separately. So first uh, we can go to the reinsert pivot option. So it can be used to reinsert the same pivot table into the same spreadsheet. So this option can be found under the data menu. So we can select a cell here and then goes to the data. So here we can see the option reinsert pivot. So here we can see the identical information was in inserted into the selected cell. Next we have the insert pivot cell. So when some table details are lacking, the analytical process may be hampered. As a result, some data may be missing from the sheet. In such situation, the Odo 15 spreadsheet might assist us in recovering all the lost data. So we can go to the data and here we can see the option insert pivot cell. So the table is displayed on a new page and we can enable the checkbox that that is the display missing cells only. So if we just require the missing cells, the missing cells were then displayed here. So currently the sales analysis report has no missing, missing cell from this sheet. Next we have the conditional formatting. In some cases the data must be highlighted in report. So the user may occasionally highlight the data based on its values. So this type of conditional formatting can be used in Odo spreadsheet. So we can choose the conditional formatting option from the format menu. So here in the right side we can see a new window displays. So to apply the conditional first we can uh, add the cell range. So here we can see the option to apply the range. And here we can choose a uh, format rules like single color, color scale and icon set. So while choosing the single color format rule, we can uh, set the format cells as is empty, is not empty, contains, does not contain, start with and so on. And here we can choose the preview text like bold, italic, underline, strike through and can see the option to add the color for the uh, text and the color for the cells. So you can choose the color here and save it. So here we can see the color has been added to the cells and it is also possible to remove the conditional formatting. And here we can see the option to add another rule. Likewise, we can choose the color scale. Here also we can apply the range. And here we can choose the preview text uh, and can provide uh, the min minimum point, midpoint and the maximum point. So here we can see uh, some points in the uh, drop down menu and also can see the option to add the colors. And finally here we have the icon set. 
So here we can choose the icons like arrows, smileys and the color circle and also here we can see the option to add the values and the type. So the types include the number, percentage, personnel and the formula. And here we can see the option to reverse icon. So after providing all the details, you can save it. Next, we have the adding chart option. So it is feasible to include a graph based analysis in this section. So on the basis of this uh, specified parameters, chart can be added. Such graph can be sometimes be more understandable than a long list of numbers. So to add the chart, we can go to the insert menu and select one from the list. So a chart will appear in this window. And here in the right side of the window, we can see a page appear. And uh, there are various graph type and parameters to pick up from. So there are sections for the configuration and design. From there, we can select a chart type. So here we have the bar chart, line chart and the pie chart option. And also here we have the option to enable this chart, uh, stacked bar chart. And here we can uh, provide the data series. That means we can provide the cell. So we can choose this uh, and tax total cell. So here we can uh, see the bar chart. Likewise, we can choose the line chart and the pie chart. And here we can provide the categories or the labels. Next we have is the add a link. It may be necessary to check another document or video in conjunction with this report on occasion. In Odoo spreadsheet can provide a link to add a link to another page in the current report. So to do so goes to the insert menu and select the link option. So a box will appear and here we can add a label and a text and can app confirm it so here we can provide the text and here we can provide the link so here we have the options like link sheet and link and auto menu so we can choose the link sheet so the text is automatically added and can confirm it so if you want to edit it you can click on here so currently this is a uh, long now so the URL was then added to the spreadsheet. Next we have is the filter option. Perhaps the majority of the reports are excessively long. So if someone needs to see a certain piece of data from the report, looking for it is too tough. In such situation, a filter option is required and in Odo 15, it includes a filter option for data in the spreadsheet. So here in the right side, you can see the filter option. So you can click on it and it is possible to create filters based on the date or relation and the text so we can choose the date filter here so here we can provide the uh, label for the uh, filter here and here we can choose the time range like year quarter and month and here we can provide the default value and here we can set the field matching so currently this is a sales analysis report so we can choose the uh, matching filter from here after providing all the details you can save this next we have is the relation so here also we can provide a label and also you can choose the related model from the drop down menu and finally here we have the text option so here we can provide the label
here we can provide the default value so here we can choose the field matching filter as salesperson so we can save this so here create a, uh, created a label called mark demo as well as a filter to show mark demo sales information so it is possible to uh, remove the filter that has been applied after it so you can see the remove option so these are the features that are included in the auto spread uh, auto spreadsheet as we all know there are some spreadsheet features that already exist so all of this feature can also be found in the auto spreadsheet so uh, it include the new show formula and column and rows font sizing styling and the strike through so this video covered all the auto 15 spreadsheet extra features and the implementation of such options are also described here in this video so we have been discussing about the use of spreadsheet in Auto 15 report. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.